Hello, Internet. I am back. It has been several days from my point of view. It will not have been nearly so long from your point of view. Um, so <laughs> I had to go back and like rewatch part of the previous episode to remind myself where was I exactly. Um, so where I was is um, working on a, a, like some dialogue um, in the game, uh, both like I mean in terms of, like a box that pops up, but also for dialogue to happen between characters. Um, and I thought it was about time to find some art. Uh, and I looked around at various things. So one thing is I went trolling through open game art, uh, looking for stuff that, that seemed appropriate. Um, I don't know, I came up with four, you know, very different kind of things that seemed like possible contenders. Um, then I was also looking online for, um, like, uh, portrait generating things. So like, here's one where, you know, we were going to have, let's say gnome, cause there's going to be like this, you know, tiny person um, that live on the village. So, I mean, this generates, like, this is pretty cool. And we have a lot of varieties. And hopefully I can get different eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I want people to look, like, worried or, like, oh, shit, my island's under attack by a terrible, terrible threat, you know? Like, we can do all that. Um, so, I don't know. This seems like it could be pretty good. I don't know. It does say save. How does it save it? Hmm, just on the web. There's some that I've used where, like, they'll give you JSON or something else uh, that then you can, so that I could save that and then come back to the website and say, here's all, you know, here's all the data for my face reloaded again because now I need to generate him smiling or something, you know. And that that is still one disadvantage of that is that if there isn't, like, a mouth that does what I want for a particular, um, you know, expression, I'm just kind of screwed. Like, I think it's fine. But is there, like, him yelling? It doesn't look like it, right? We have no open mouth, so if we ever wanted someone to yell, then we're kind of stuck. Um, I don't know, maybe humans have more mouths. Maybe everyone's got the same mouths. Yeah, it looks like everyone's got the same mouths, right? So no yelling people, for example, right? Um, I thought this one was very funny. So this is like, so the, <laughs> there's the website, this person does not exist, um, which I should pull up because... So I thought about using this because this is AI generated, right? And this person does not exist, and AI generated this person. And it looks really good, right? Um, I feel like something that occasionally goes wrong is that like the hair or hats especially, sometimes the teeth look weird and you're like, oh, this was generated not by a human. This isn't real. <laughs> generated by a human, but you know, this isn't a real person. Sometimes you can really tell. Every now and again it does something like really messed up. Um, the problem with this is, again, I don't have control. Like if I wanted to make this, you know, suppose there's going to be the small person on the island, well, what if I need to are looking worried or, or, or being like, yay, you saved me, right? Like, again, like, I especially can't convincingly edit these to look real. And also, well, we want someone who's a pirate. Where's a good pirate hat? Um, I wish we'd get something that, like, is hilariously bad. Anyway, so when I was looking online, someone mentioned this waifu does not exist because, of course, the internet has this. And this is, like, the kind of thing where the AI goes wrong that I was hoping to get in people. Because sometimes it does that where, like, their hair becomes a hat. And it's like, oh, you don't actually understand what hair and hat are, do you? Sometimes it generates this one. I like that this one generates a good combination of, like, WTF and, like, oh, that looks like that could be legit. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, but that's not going to work for us either. Um, I found this. This is some other early access software. There's a character generator. I'm not, like... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be picky because, again, I can't draw art. But there's something about this style that I'm not super in love with. Um, it's interesting that it'll do pixelated. I do have a soft spot for pixelated art. Um, but I don't know. Something about this one just looks weird to me. I kind of like this one. I think this is going to be one that I really like. I also look. I also tried out this program. It's called PhotoSketcher. It's supposed to take images and make them look painterly or something. But you have to have a good base. I was like, okay, what if I just kind of sketch something out? It's using AI, apparently. I think that's what they say, is that it's using AI to do this. Let me see. Wasn't it? I thought that's what someone said. I don't know, or maybe not. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's not good enough. You need to have a better base. Like, you know, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna make this, you have to have started with this. Well, then I have to get, you know, that, so. I don't know. Like, maybe it could let me, you know, hide some mistakes. Like, maybe if I got photos from this person does not exist, and then I just drew a, a shitty-looking frown because I can't draw, maybe making it look painterly could hide that and make it look okay. So, like, you know, maybe using a combination of tools, I could I could make some art. Um, I think I'm just going to start with this one because it seems easy to use and generates nice results. Um, and then, and then okay, but the other thing I was looking at, again, on open game art, like, I thought this was neat. Um, 
because there's a lot in here, we'd have a consistent style. Um, surely there's like, well, you know, we don't need the zombie or something, but we can find something that's good for like the small person on the town to be like, I'm worried. Wow, she's not worried at all. Um, or he, <laughs> they, I don't know. Um, so anyway, uh, the, and, and you know, I could add a splash of color if I wanted color. Uh, and then, oh yeah, this was interesting. Someone took a bunch of art off of Wikipedia, just like, so it's all super old paintings. Um, and then, yeah, this again, pixel art really speaks to me. Uh, the advantage of pixel art is that I can change this, right? I can make this person frown pretty easily. Um, you know, whatever I can make them yell. Uh, it would be easy for me to change the expressions on pixel art. Like even I can do that. Um, yeah, and this one, and what got me thinking about character generators, I wasn't thinking about this, or portrait generator generators, is this person mentions it. A friend and I were making the portrait gen tool, we didn't finish it. Um, and I was like, no, why didn't you include the portrait gen tool? I would love to play around with it, even if it is incomplete. Um, but uh, anyway, so, so then I was like, oh, I should just look for other portrait generation tools. So I don't know, for the purposes of uh, making progress with this video, um, let's go ahead and just take something. Um, you know, I, I think I'll do, I think I'll do this DM hero thing. So let's make a gnome. Um, and I think I can just keep clicking on it and get different random gnomes. Uh, but I need them to look worried. He looks a little like, hmm, ha, ha. Um, so let's find, I think, where's like eyes? Here we go. He's still like, oh, there's different jaws. That's interesting. Okay, the mouth. Where's the mouth? If we get like a, a frowny mouth. Maybe this is boring. You know what? I'm going to pause and then when I have a worried looking uh, small person, I will unpause and you can see the result because otherwise it's going to watch me click through a bunch of stuff for like five minutes. So BRB. From your point of view, it'll be no time at all. Again, the bizarre time dilation of making videos. All right, here I go. Well, I think this is going to be the best that I can do. Um, you know, again, this problem of like, how expressive can we make this face? And this, like, there aren't a whole lot of mouths. Like, these are the only eyebrows that remotely look any bit worried or sad. Um, there aren't many other eye options. You know, this is just what happens when you when you got to grab art from the internet, and it's like you just got to make do with what you got. So, I think this is going to be our worried elf. Oh, let me just change the background a little because it's so dark you can like hardly see his clothes. Or not elf, but I guess, I mean, I picked gnome here. Um, I wonder, actually, can I get a light enough color that I can just take out the background? I think I need something like with the most contrast. I think it might be that blue that I just passed, like there's a cyan. It's going to be hard down here, but that's okay, because maybe I'll just cut the image here anyway. But I'd like to trim out the whole um, background so that it can just kind of float above the rest of the art. Um, is that interesting to watch? Because, again, I'm not good at this. Like, <laughs> uh, let me download and see what this looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to open on the other monitor. Yeah, cool. I mean, I don't know what's in there. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Date modified. Sort by date modified. Okay. Okay, um, like I'm not very good. I've got I've got a really old. Um, I think I mentioned right. I use fireworks. I bought it forever ago. I've never upgraded. Uh, that's what I got, um, and is not good for exactly what I want to do here of pulling out a color in the background. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's just not very good at it. Uh, like it's passable, but it's really not what it's for. Um, it's not for doing photo manipulation. It's for doing vector art, stuff like that. Um, but I think that's good enough. Oh, I want an anti-alias. Uh, oh god. Did it do anti-alias or was it hard because it was... No, I think it didn't. I think... Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's see what happens. Oh no, not that one. Wait, uh, ooh, can I take out just the, hmm, I've lost it. <laughs> I don't know if you can undo that stuff. Okay, look, this isn't interesting either, and I don't even know if I'm going to keep this in the end. So I'm going to pause, and I'll be back when I have something I like, because <laughs> this is just going to be stupid and obnoxious to watch. 
Okay, I'm, like, this is going to be good enough. Like, I, I don't need to worry too much about the art, but just to kind of demonstrate that's generally working, I've kind of zoomed in so it makes it look extra pixely. Um, so yeah, it's got an anti-aliased edge where I deleted the background and, you know, whatever color I pick. Um, let's do something horrible. It's looking fine. Like, this is, again, are there lots of errors? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> but for the purposes of making um, anything appear on the screen, I think this is going to be good. Um, yeah, there's some bits of blue. Um, but that's okay. And so something else, uh, another problem with having to do this manual cleanup since it wasn't a, a transparent background is if I do come in here and I'm like, oh, now I want him to have, you know, yeah, let's have a, an expression where his eyebrows are different. Um, I would have to redo all that, except maybe I don't. Maybe I can just, um, you know, cut out that part of his face, paste it onto this already cleaned up image and, and be good enough. So I'm going to make sure to save this as a... Um, has an image somewhere. Yeah, let's get out of my uh, downloads. Yeah, that looked fine. I don't care if you saw that. Um, so, but let's go to development, uh, see stuff. And then this was, um, this is the pirate game. That's what the thing told us. All right, so dev, graphics. Um, I'm probably gonna want a portraits folder. And this we will call, um, I guess we'll call him Islander. Uh, and if I'm going to have different expressions, I might want to have like an enum of expressions so that I can say, you know, in this, take Islander and show them with this expression. So here I'll just do it like, I mean, he looks, he doesn't look sad. This is the saddest I could get or like the most worried, but he almost looks like wistful, like, hmm, I remember that time <laughs> so long ago. <laughs> but that's not the expression I want. But I should name it what I want the expression to be and then I can make it. Um, be different later. So we're going to call this worried. Um, and this is just a, a, a dev thing. And then let me export the image. Um, so Islander. Oh, but hold the phone. Um, the canvas needs to be transparent. Uh, PNG 32, fine, great. Um, I don't actually know something else though. Maybe I won't worry about it. I mean, it's just, I feel like I want to trim it at the bottom or not have, it at least should should taper off off the bottom edge and not have anything on the right edge, I feel. But again, this is like, I don't need to worry about that stuff right now. Um, okay, so this is Islander Worried. And this is the actual image. So again, when I save in Photoshop, and sorry, not Photoshop, goodness, I can't use Photoshop or I would probably have it. It's just, I don't do photo editing stuff. I usually do polygons and stuff, which is why I have Inkscape, vectors. Um, but anyway, when you save in, in um, Fireworks, the PNG format, it saves a bunch of metadata, like these backgrounds and layers and stuff. Um, it's only when you export that you get the like, with all that stuff out, like no plain image, because uh, you can store a lot of, it's interesting. I think I already rambled about this before, so I'm not gonna do it again. Um, but anyway, okay, here's the Islander, but now I'm gonna need to generate a captain. So let me do that. I'm gonna do that 100% off screen, and then I'll load them into the game, and I think that's going to be the end of the video, and then I'll actually start coding the dialogue system. But uh, So anyway, if you don't care about what pirate I make, go ahead and skip to the next video. But if you'd like to see uh, early, then here we go. All right, be right back. All right. Um, I kind of love the idea of a badass female pirate, like, swinging around a sword and shit, because, I don't know, sword ladies, it's a trope, and I love it. But before I do that, I should ask... Um, I want to know um, what the AI thinks the pirate's preferred weapon should be. I assume you have a weapon because don't you have to fight? You're, you're like surviving against stay alive in a hostile world and there was something about pirates are the enemy. Okay, what we're, we're going to ask. Um, ben and co-pilot meet for a, I don't remember, what, what is this? Is this the third time or something? for a third time to discuss uh, the main character, Clay Thackeray, um, in their game about pirates and pirates. Uh, I almost want to remove, because I feel like the AI has gone a little off the rails sometimes, and maybe, maybe we'll remove some of that just so that it's not feeding the AI. Because uh, again, it's it's looking at previous text. Um, Clay Thackeray in their in their game about pirates and pirates. I mean, sure, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, 
Um, I think I have a pirate design I kind of like. But I'm trying to decide if they should... Well, and actually, you know what, though? The, um, the AI has, I think, said he several times. Um, and we have to go with what the AI said. The pirate captain. So maybe I'll just change the face to be a guy. Um, but anyway, I think I haven't... But I'm trying to decide... Um, uh, what kind of weapon he should use, if any. This is a survival game. Does it have fighting? Um, all right, let's see what Copilot has to say. It's... <laughs> I get to do this, uh, this thing again. It's a pirate... pirate's game. Wait. Huh, no, wait, what? Well, I don't want to... If, if I'm talking more, um... Uh... Tell me more. <laughs> I, I don't know. Wow, that's all I wanted to say, huh? You... You're a... Oh, gosh. Pirate, yeah, oops, oops, oh, no, it said pirate. Ah, uh, no, it said pirate. Um, you're a pirate. Sorry, I accidentally pressed tab, not enter. And you are... A small ship. Oh my god. Captain. Yep. We know we're short and thin. With your little crew. Now, is everyone little? Did I miss that? Oh no, the pre we're very small. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I know a lot of that. Uh, what kind of weapon should the pirate captain use, if any? Sometimes it's not good at, at responding to questions, I feel like. Okay, well, okay. The pirate has to have some kind of... Please say weapon? Weapon, okay. The pirate captain has to have some kind of weapon. And it, oh my gosh, please tell me more, would be cool if... <laughs> I wish we could get more than two words at a time. The pirate crew had... Weapons. Okay. Uh, what weapon does the pirate captain have? Please, co-pilot. <laughs> I'm begging you. Well, Ben, do you think? I love when it addresses me. It's, it's so funny. Do you think there is any difference? Oh no! I pressed the wrong button again. Uh, any difference? Press enter. Between the pirates that you that you've seen. Oh, you just and those that you encountered. Is there any difference between the pirates that you've seen and those you've encountered? Oh gosh, well. Uh, happily I have in Countered no pirates IRL. But I think I get what you're saying. The pirates I've seen are the same as the ones I would encounter. I should just do the traditional sword. Uh, I guess it's more like an APE, right? Rapier, maybe? And gun? Okay. I would like some confirmation. I really want it to tell me. But maybe, yes. Okay, Ben <laughs> and I think that, how long is this video? Gosh, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, I'll stick with it. That sounds great. Um, I'm going to change this pirate to be a male. I know that when I click male, it's going to forget everything I've done, so I'm going to have to reselect it. I won't subject you to that. Um, you know, maybe I'll just show the final image real quick in a moment and then in the next video. So you don't have to wait for the next video. So uh, let me do that. And then and then I'll just do that and I'll be done. Seriously, this video is not hitting 20 minutes, I promise. <laughs> All right, this will be Clay Thackeray. The, the AI at one point said that he's a very typical pirate, right? So I guess rapier and stuff. I was hoping, so there's not really a good one in here. There's like a huge sword. Anyway, I promise this was gonna hit 20 minutes. So this is it. I'm gonna clean up the image and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs>